Humans have incredible imaginations, and over the millennia, have conjured up countless fantastical creatures to haunt their nightmares. Today, we'll be turning to the rich mythology of the Aztecs to explore the terrifying legend of the Ahuizot, the water beast. Its story comes to us from Book 11 of the Florentine Codex, as well as various carved depictions from the Aztecs themselves. In size, it is said to have resembled a small dog with short, pointed ears and a long, smooth body. Its color is black with fur that often clumps together into spikes on its back. Its paws are like those of a raccoon, and its tail is equipped with a hand like that of a human. The Ahuizot inhabits the water and is said to dwell in caverns at the depths of lakes and rivers. From here it preys upon mankind. Its most classic hunting technique is to stalk those on the surface above. Should one stray too close to its lair or even the shore, the Ahuizot will strike, with lightning speed and surprise. It takes hold of its victim, plunging them below the surface and dragging them down to its deep lair below. It is said that the attack was accompanied by a great thrashing in the water, which threw up waves and foam. On such occasions, even the other wildlife fled in terror, and one would report seeing fish and frogs scattering in all directions. Another hunting method involved the Ahuizot purposely stirring up wildlife to attract fishermen. In this case, the victim would become elated by the sudden appearance of a great multitude of fish swarming into their net, but as they went to collect their prize, the Ahuizot would claim his. Perhaps the most terrifying hunting method was when the beast would mimic the sounds of a crying child to attract passerbys. When these compassionate individuals came to investigate, they too would be dragged to a watery grave. Few escaped the Ahuizot. On occasion, however, bodies would return to the surface. To the horror of onlookers, they would be found with no eyes, no teeth, and no nails. Grisly prizes of the beasts that lurked below. If a commoner tried to retrieve the body, they too would be attacked or cursed with gout. Only the priests, the guardians of the gods, were allowed to approach. They then bore the dead away to a place of burial, believing that the drowned had gone to Tlalocan, the heavenly realm of the water god. For the family, this was also in essence their own funeral, as it was said the kin of the victim were destined to drown as well. I hope you found this topic just as interesting as it was frightening. To me, these stories offer a fascinating look at the past from an angle we aren't quite used to. All too often, we get so caught up in the memorization of dates and figures that we lose track of the humanity that brings history to life. Sometimes, it's nice to just relax and take a seat by the fireplace of our ancestors to listen to the mythical tales we have traded for millennia. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one.